And they will be making a left hand turn in a moment. We'll um, enter the town of York from the side entrance. We'll take us down into the main street, Avenue Terrace. So that what you see on the left was on the right hand side was all native forests. And that's where the early settlers cleared the land to put in their crops. By doing that, they destroyed the food chain of the Aboriginal people. That was one of the many reasons why the Aborigines were hostile towards the white man. They couldn't understand what he was doing. Why would you come in here? remove all the trees and the understory and the natural bush, our food chain. Why would you do that? They of course couldn't understand that we can't live in the bush, we don't understand the bush, we die in the bush. They can't live on the farm, there's nothing for them in the farm, they need the natural scrub. But there lies the problem. And it's also as the major factor in the disappearance of many of the tribes, together with different diseases of the white man. And today, of course, is the reason why everything is protected in Western Australia. This is a state of 2.5 million square kilometres, one of the longest coastlines in the world, 18,500 kilometres. Population just on 2 million people, that is for the whole of Western Australia, Perth 1.6 million. So if we were to take the rest of those people that don't live in Perth and scatter them throughout Western Australia in the 2.5 million square kilometres, including the station country, you have one person living in an area of 100 square kilometres. So you don't get crowds. You'll get crowds in Perth, activity in Perth, traffic. But once you leave Perth, as you'll see out here, there's nobody around, which is fantastic. Too many people create too many problems. And the farmers out here, they're not city people. They like the country, the wide open spaces, fresh air, no pollution. Beautiful sky, pretty sunsets and sunrises. You can smell the bush. And that's what people value. And most important of all, safety. You can't buy safety. And you only have to look around the world today to see all the problems that are going on. So the people in these areas realise that. And they very they value the areas of Australia. And they will protect that to the utmost, like these little towns like York, for instance, are delightful places. And the people live here several generations, born and bred in the place. Most of them are on the local council who make the rules and regulations, so you won't get, you won't get away with nothing here. Anything that comes in, whether you're going to build a house or whatever, there are very stringent rules. You must coincide with the architectural design of the area. You can't go around clearing land just because you want to put up a fancy house. So you've got to be very careful what you do. The clearing of the land, like the farmers, the area of land in which you see which is cleared, that's what the farmers work with today. This was all done in the early days. The farmer can't go along just because this is his land and knock down more trees because he wants to put a few more crops and allowed to do that. You've got to be a lot smarter today. You've got to work with what you have. The more clearing of the land is not going to make any difference to your economy, but it will make a difference to the land. It will destroy it. And in the last, I suppose, seven years, Western Australian government, especially throughout the wheat belt, has also, also uh, already, we should say, replanted 
some six and a half to seven billion trees. A lot more to come.